What is up everyone? Welcome back to our channel Inside Python and welcome back to the third episode of our Instagram bot series. So in the previous video we, we learned how to automate a simple login into Instagram with Python. So now in this video we are going to be talking about how to automate likes with Python and Selenium driver in an hashtag on Instagram. So now before moving on I want you all to follow our our Instagram page as Inside Python. The link will be down in the description and also follow our youtube channel which you are watching right now and turn on the notifications by pressing those bell icon so now moving on uh, i'm on my pycharm and this is a code from the previous video if you don't know about any of these codes then do check the previous video showing up right on the screen uh, at the right hand side i guess so now we'll be continuing this post here so what we did, we imported Selenium and WebDriver and we created a login function. Now we are going to be creating a liking function. So DF like and it will have a parameter as hashtag. Okay, as a hashtag, it will have a parameter. So now how to go on a hashtag site. So as you can see, I'm on my Instagram and I'm on the hashtag as hacking, hashtag hacking. So if you, if I see the URL over here, so it says explore tags and then hacking. So this is the tag name. Now we will be modifying the same structure over here. So just copy it down, driver.get and paste it under codes. Now instead of hacking, uh, you can, uh, you can use a format string as F. Now this is a function of only Python 3.6 and above. So don't try to use it if you're below that. So just uh, in curly braces, write the name of your variable and you're good to go. So we open the hashtag page. Now give it some time to sleep. Sleep for at least five seconds. Yeah, five seconds will be open up. And now we want to, to scroll down for at least seven times to load pictures over here. As you can see, now if I go down there, it takes time to load. Okay, so we need to do this. So for doing this, uh, we'll be scrolling down for seven times. So write for i in range, use a loop, uh, 7. Now with this, now if you don't know what is this, this is, uh, just check the description. It is used to scroll down. This will be down in the description and also you can check the Selenium documentation. It will be on there. So we scroll down for 7 times. Now we want HREFs. Now what are HREFs? HREFs are basically site URLs. You can suppose like that. Suppose if I go on to this hashtag now let me just move on to a bit uh, now if i click on the open link in new tab so as you can see here this is called the href now it has a special fear it contains dot com slash p we'll be using this in the next thing so we'll be searching this uh, all those pictures by the uh, web elements by their tag name now as you can see all those uh, all these posts contains the tag name a C it is in tag name A, tag name N, and their href. As you can see, it is just easy as that. Now, if I go over here, so we will type hrefs, uh, href suppose found. Now, these are actually not hrefs, these are web elements. Okay, these are web elements, uh, and uh, write driver dot find. Uh, now we will be finding elements okay this will return a list since it is elements okay find elements by tag name and then write tag a so yeah we found all of those web elements we got till here now we want the href so we'll create a new list here as uh, sorry for that pick href and now what we will be doing, we will be using a list comprehension. Now if you don't know comprehension, just go ahead and check some articles on it. I will be using the comprehension. So we want the attribute uh, for element in uh, href found. Now href found is actually a list. Uh, if uh, element, uh, uh, suppose if dot com, sorry my keyboard isn't working that well so I have to use a virtual keyboard slash dot com slash p okay this is the tags uh, you know these dot com slash p this is its identity that this is an href so if uh, dot com slash p in malab, it is in the element dot get attribute now what attribute href then we need to get its at it's uh, that attribute only element dot get uh, dot get uh, uh, just wait 
element dot get attribute as href and then close this so yeah we got all of those pick oh, pick hrfs over here we got all of the pick hrfs as in here so now we want to iterate over it now for liking we need to iterate over it so we will be loading all those hrefs one by one by one so for uh suppose element in pick href now this is actually a list we can iterate over it driver dot get and then the element now this element contains the href okay so till now we got over to that page now just go to time dot sleep uh sleep for some time now how much time we will sleep for we will sleep for 3 seconds yeah and now we want to search for the like button so we are actually on we were on this page now we clicked on this and now we came on this page now as you can see the like button is over here okay so we need to copy its x path suppose yeah uh inspect the element now I'll just scroll down because i can't see it uh just uh, copy its x path now like type here like is equal to driver dot find uh, element by x path and then paste the x path over here okay so we got that now we just need to click on this like button uh sorry like dot click so we click we like the post now give it some time to sleep otherwise instagram will know that it is a bot for 5 seconds okay this will iterate over and over and over again so we created our function like function so just use it over here uh what was the name again like and then the hashtag now hashtag i'm saying hacking yeah we got that now i will be switching on to the page where our browser actually opens up because i don't want to share my credentials with you so uh, so our browser has opened up it has opened the instagram page soon it will log in into our bot just wait yeah so as you can see it has logged in now it will go to our hashtag page remember the sleep time we gave it to now it will scroll down for at least a uh, seven times yeah after sleeping for 5 seconds okay remember that just wait yeah it has been scrolling down now it will open up uh, each and every post we have so it has opened up the posts now it will like yeah see Liked. Now, after five seconds, it will move on to next post. Now, I'll be showing you the next post. Then I will just stop my program because, yeah, it is my bot, but it is actually my account. So we successfully created a bot that liked all of the posts in the hashtag. Now, in the next few videos, you will also see some very interesting videos. Follow us on our Instagram as Inside Python. The link will be down in the description. And follow us uh, and subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. And thanks for watching our video.